Hello, my name is Steven Schaus. I'm the chef de cuisine at Dilo Tuscan Steakhouse in Hoboken, New Jersey. And today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Italian pasta called gargante um, using a very traditional uh, pasta extruder um, called Bigelaro. This is a saffron pasta dough made with uh, semolina, flour, water, and saffron. It has to be a very firm dough for the bigelaro so that uh, it doesn't stick together when it comes out. Once the pasta dough starts to come out, I do one and a half turns and then cut it off. Toss with a little semolina. As you see, the pasta has a hole uh, in it, so much of rigatoni, so it is hollow. You see how it's made? It's got the hole in the center, then with the, the wire that goes down, so that it, when it extrudes through, it leaves in the shape of that, it leaves a hole. So now I'm going to show you how to make the dish we do here at Zalo with the gargate pasta. It's a lobster gargate pasta with ro roasted royal trumpet mushrooms and a lobster coral butter. Can I add a little bit of olive oil? Some trumpet mushrooms that I've already quickly, quickly sauteed. Another name for trumpet mushrooms are king oyster mushroom. They have a very nice uh, meatiness to them. I'm going to start cooking the pasta. So this is the gargati pasta that we just made. And then we quickly flash flash froze so that it doesn't uh, stick to itself. Once you get a little bit of nice nice color on the on the mushrooms, I'm going to add some uh, some onions. Season it with a little bit of salt. Fresh with the fresh pepper. Now I'm gonna let this reduce to kind of intensify the flavor while the pasta is cooking. And now I'll add some uh, lobster coral butter. It's butter that we cooked with lobster bodies uh, and lobster eggs, which is another name for it, the coral. That's the green color. As you see, when it's cooking, it's turning red. It's green because it's raw. The raw, the raw eggs, and then when it cooks, it turns red. Or kind of orange. Now I'll add the lobster meat that we poached, we poached in butter. Taking the tails and the claws, poach them in butter, remove the meat. You don't want to cook them much longer because they've, uh, they're already about three quarters cooked. So I'm just going to add them to the to the sauce and let it sit for a second, waiting on the pasta to finish cooking. You want to always add the parsley at the end. Um, I brought chopped this parsley, so you, you still want a nice parsley goes really well with lobster, so you want a nice parsley taste. And now, strain it. And then, look at those beautiful little pots. Give it a quick toss. So this is the lobster gargante pasta with royal trumpet mushrooms and lobster coral butter.